Hey guys, it's that time of the week again. Sorry, I'm kind of late with this review, but this is the review for Preacher, episode 3 of season 2, called Damsels. And this episode was absolutely crazy. We had men in white suits chasing after a new character, um, Miss Featherstone, I believe is her name. We also got to meet Hair Star a little bit, and we got a little bit more information on Victor, which is basically Tulip's, I, I want to say, um, captor, who basically is trying to hunt her down for something that she did to him, or maybe she just screwed him over and then just left him one night, maybe, um... I'm not sure. We'll get more information on episode 4, which is actually called Victor. So, yeah, we'll get some more information on that one um, when that episode comes. But, for this episode, we had, <laughs> within the first 10 minutes of the whole show, we have a dog, we have a guy, pretty much dressed like a dog. He's in a dog mask, and it's it's not what they're looking for in New Orleans, it's not what they're looking for, a guy in a dog suit, that's not what they're looking for, so they leave, uh, although Cassidy flipping pulls out, like, a like, apparently what he thinks is it's gonna be a thousand dollars, which is, which is gonna be enough to play, and I'm doing air quotes as I'm saying this, play with the guy in the dog, uh, mask, so, <laughs> is Cassidy gay now or something, cause honestly, He's been doing some really weird stuff. He got naked with Fiora last week, and now he's and now he's willing to play air quotes with a, a guy in a dog suit. Yeah, this is what we've come down to, people. <laughs> that man is gone. That man that we saw fight all those guys in the plane last season is gone. He is a whole new Cassidy. But Jesse on his search for God finds out that um, this girl, Miss Featherstone, um, a singer at this bar, uh, might know about God. So he goes there, talks to her, um, and then she gets in her taxi to pretty much leave Jesse because she's afraid of him. Because she thinks that he is with these group of people that are in white suits. Now, I don't exactly know what these people in the white suits want from her. I guess they just want God to keep quiet. That's what she said. But then again, I don't trust her at all now. Because at during the end of the episode, um, spoiler alert, she is not who she says she is. Miss Featherstone um, went from a cute blonde hot actress, or hot, um, singer at the bar, to a girl that looks like she got just a, a, a bad hair day and a bad makeover, and she's ugly as crap, just saying, and she rats, basically, she rats Jesse out to, um, Mr. Hair Star, and the other... I guess Hair Star is in charge of the guys with the white suits. I believe so. Um, because you can see guys in white suits taking Featherstone away. And then Jesse beats them up. And then at the end of the episode, the white guys, uh, the white dudes in the, in the, um, in the, in the van, um, grab her again. And they take her into the van. And then it's revealed that she is not who she says she is. But Cassidy has this old mate named Dennis, and when they get to the door, there's this old guy there, and he starts rambling on a bunch of French. So my theory is, I think Dennis is dead, <laughs> and this guy is just allowing Cassidy to walk through his house, just because he kind of, he kind of doesn't want to say that Cassidy, um... That Dennis is dead, because I think he's probably going to charge Cassidy for how long he stays in the house. But that's going to be a fun um, thing next week. Um, also, Tulip ran off. Tulip has gone to uh, what seems like Victor's base. They grabbed her at the end of the episode. It ended with that. 
But now, enough of the main characters. Let's talk about Arseface just real quick before the end of the video. We got his backstory. Basically, he went to his friend Tracy Loach's house, the girl that had have her face blown off. Um, have her head blown off. Um, she got broke. She was broken. Uh, breaking up with this kid, and then she wanted to kill herself. Eugene talked her out of it. Eugene kissed her. She lost all faith in Eugene and killed herself. And then Eugene couldn't live with the fact that Tracy was dead, so he shot himself. But the bullet it, it didn't fire, so he lifted up the gun to look in the in the place where the bullet was supposed to come out, and it shot him in the face. So. This episode has to be, it's not my favorite one, um, episode, I gotta say episode 2 was actually my favorite this whole season now, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, goodbye, go check out Preacher, peace out.